Hi, in this session we will be looking at the folio lookup screen in Investwell Mint. We will also look at the folio master, how to see it, how to see the statement of account and what actions we can take on the folios and what are their implications. Now the folio lookup screen can be accessed from the advisor dashboard on the left menu navigation. In, the, in this screen we show all the folios that are in the system. These are the folios under all the ARNs entered in the system. We show the folio number, the scheme name, the applicant folio. This is the, applic the applicant's name as, as came in the folio. The applicant map 2 is the name of the applicant in the system. This is the PAN, the amount that is in this folio and scheme the number of goals that this folio has been assigned to in the goal planner, the UCC number in case the chosen exchange is BSE for transaction and the, uh, or e e here the IN number is shown in case NSE is the chosen exchange. You can use the toggle on the top to uh, toggle between two uh, types of views. The show all folios lists all the folios including the zero balance folios and the active folios shows only the folios which have a positive unit balance. You can search uh, using the folio number and the name of the client. You can also use the voice search feature for folio number and name in Chrome browsers. Clicking on, uh, on the SOA icon opens up the statement of account for this folio and scheme. Here we list all the transactions in this folio along with the unit balance. This is the data as in the system. The folio, clicking on the folio number opens up the folio master. Here we list down all the details that have come in the folio master for this folio, including the holding nature, tax status, the bank account details, uh, which include the IFSC code, the account number and the bank address. We also include the nominee details over here. Now there are certain actions that can be taken from this screen. In, in one scenario, you can uh, assign this folio to another applicant if required. For example, uh, you can click on the first, you can check mark this client and suppose you want to assign this folio to another applicant if it has, wrong, it has been mapped wrongly by the system check mark this folio click on proceed and there are two options here assign folio to existing applicant assign folio to new applicant choose this option in case the person that you want to assign this folio to is already present in the system and click enter Click the assign folio to make this uh, change happen. Now in case uh, you have merged two investors by mistake uh, from the investor lookup screen, you can undo this change from here. You can demerge folios from here. Now when you merge two investors, the folios of the, of the secondary investor are assigned to the for, uh, are, are assigned to the primary investor. In this case, Rishabh and Ved were merged, and Ved was chosen as the primary investor. So you can see Rishabh's folios are assigned to Ved. So when we see Ved's portfolio, you'll see, you'll be able to see these folios in it. Now to demerge this. check mark these folios and click on proceed choose assign to new folio and click create and assign this will demerge this folio and create a new investor with the name Rishabh and this pan so the system automatically detected that the two folios have a common investor and created only one new investor with these details
now for in case uh, in case we have a scenario where you have you'll have to do transmission of folios or even consolidation of two or more folios you can send that request to us at support at investwellonline.com and we'll take care of that from our back end okay if you have any other uh, support related queries you can also email to that uh, to support at investwellonline.com thank you